What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to a special edition unboxing video. It's actually not a, uh, an unboxing video, I don't know why I said that. This is actually, for those of you who might know, and some of you guys who might not know, recently, this past weekend, I went on a small little shopping haul at the mall. I went to one of my favorite malls that has some of my favorite stores, and I got a little bit excited. The whole reason for the shopping trip in general was because I had hot cash, and Sunday was the last day to use my hot cash, so I was like, okay, I gotta go to Hot Topic, and I have to use this hot cash. And then I ended up going to other stores, buying other things, because why not? So I thought I would just go ahead and quickly show you everything I got. I did get a bunch of mystery boxes and stuff. I'm not going to be opening them in this video. I'm going to do a separate video for those things, so I apologize, but I don't want to show you what I got because I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go in chronological order of how I purchased everything. So I actually did not show this on my Instagram story, which you might have seen. I did post that on my YouTube channel. I apologize for the uh, vertical video-ish of that. But before I even started the trip, I ended up at JC Penney and they were having a shirt sale. All of their licensed shirts were $10 and I've never shopped at JC Penney for shirts like this. I just didn't even really know that they had them. I usually go to Macy's but Macy's has kind of dwindled their selection and I went to JC Penney and they had like two tables full of shirts plus like 15 racks and I just don't know what happened. So let me show you the extraordinary amount of shirts that I purchased that is too many. Not only were these shirts $10, they actually also gave me a coupon, the lady at the counter. She was very nice, so thank you for whoever it was that helped me out that day. I guess I could see her name on here, right? It does not tell me, but shout out to you, person who gave me the extra coupon when I checked out. I appreciate that. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. We're just gonna go very quickly. The first shirt we got, oh, look at this. I almost bought two of these, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, it was interesting to me to find a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger shirt at JCPenney or just at a store because I feel like these are a little bit more retro and they don't really have them as much, but look how cool this shirt is. Regular price at $20. I legitimately was like, I need two of these because they're so cool, but I only got one. Self-control, self-control. I don't know why I bought this shirt. I mean, I do know why I bought it, but... I probably shouldn't have because it was a little bit unnecessary. Oh no, I got this in the wrong size. What am I doing? Uh, of course, his name's not coming to me right now, but this is the dude from Despicable Me 3. He's the bad guy who's trying to steal the diamond. He's super retro. I got this in a size small. I don't know why I did that. So that was my bad. Dang. Um, priced at $20. I don't know. I think I already have this shirt, but... I always get excited when I see Nickelodeon shirts. So this is a Nickelodeon shirt. How come there's no tag? Oh, the tag's in here. It's a men's medium. Aw, you guys. How much should I pay for this shirt? They gave me one receipt, but this is definitely not all of the shirts that I purchased. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not even going to figure it out. So this shirt actually, so this is, I hope I didn't pay $10 because on the tag, there's a little price tag that says clearance, $8.99. But this is an old school Nicktoon shirt, and it has some of my favorite Nicktoons on it. Some of them that I'm not as, like, fond of, like Ren and Stimpy. But I, it has Hey Arnold, and it has Rugrats, and I did like the Wild Thornberries and Avro Monster and uh, Rocco's Modern Life. This is a Star Wars shirt that I got, navy blue, men's medium. I just liked how cartoony it was. Sometimes I don't, I don't usually buy cartoony shirts like this at the store, but I like the way that it looked, and so I bought it. This looks like a shirt that you would get from a subscription box. That's the one reason that I probably shouldn't have purchased it, because it looks like one of those ones that like, you know, that company just kind of mash up together, but whatever. Okay, here's another Star Wars shirt. I love the colors on here, and I just couldn't, I told myself I didn't need more Star Wars shirts, but I loved this color scheme, so I had to get it. So this is a gray shirt, and it's just, it's super old school. It says Star Wars, and it has TIE Fighters on it, but I just love the purple and the blue. It just looks really old school retro, and I like that color, those two colors together. What am I doing? What am I doing? I already have so many shirts. I don't need any more shirts. I really tried to walk away. I just couldn't. This is a Super Mario Brothers shirt. The shirt feel itself, I was... Trying to be really picky about the shirts that I picked out and not just go based off the design because I was trying to go off the feel of the shirt. This shirt's a little bit stiffer than the other ones and it's a little bit wider even though it's a men's medium. But look at this design. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's so flipping cool. So you have all the Super Mario peeps on here. I love that shirt. I definitely didn't need this shirt but I got it anyways. This is a black shirt and it has 
this foil version of Charizard on it. As you can see, it's shiny. That's it. It's just Charizard. That's all. Fairly, fairly simple. I just liked how shiny it was. We got a Spider-Man shirt. I just thought this one was cute. He's like trying to shoot his web out. Again, this is probably one of those shirts or designs that you can probably find something very similar that you would get in a subscription box, but... Oh. <laughs> okay, so here's another Despicable Me 3 shirt. I don't know if I told you guys that I did end up seeing this movie with my goddaughter. I actually... Did I vlog it? I don't remember if I vlogged it or not. I don't think I did. But this is Gru and his brother Drew, and they're like villains. It says spy versus villain. <laughs> I love when they put the suits on. I just couldn't help myself. Ugh. We have two more shirts in here. Oh, I went hunting because I saw this shirt on the rack, but they didn't have a medium. I went through all their shirts until I found a medium, and I finally did. Here we go. This is a BB-8 shirt. I just, there's something about this design that I really enjoyed. I, what is this design called? Like Argyle? I don't know what it's called, but I loved the, the design patterns. I loved how they kind of took the, whatever that design type is called, and they kind of inputted like, you have the Millennium Falcon, and you have... You have the X-Wing Fighters, but then you have BB-8 right smack dab in the middle. You guys know I like BB-8. And then the last shirt we got from JCPenney is... Oh no, I feel bad. I feel terrible. Okay, first of all, this was a shirt that she scanned and then I was like, wait, because I was kind of looking at the prices and this shirt popped up as like $20. So I was like, oh, was there a shirt that was $20? So she looked back and she said, yeah, it was this shirt. So then I was like, okay, can you take it out? So then she took it out for me, but I think she ended up accidentally giving it to me. So this is a Fantastic B shirt. It was a shirt that was kind of, I wasn't sure if I wanted. It was just one of those things like, oh, this is cool, but I don't know if I need it. Um, this is a licensed shirt. The reason why this shirt was expensive, and I wasn't quite sure why, I think they might have accidentally put a Nike tag on this shirt. She told me that this shirt was made by Nike, and I was like, why would Nike make a Fantastic Beast shirt? But this is the tag that was on it. This is a BioWorld shirt, so I'm pretty sure it's not a Nike shirt, but because it was, an, it was listed as a Nike shirt or it scanned as a Nike shirt, it didn't pop up as the sale. So I was like, okay, just take it out, but I guess she gave it to me anyway, so... All right, that's my shirt haul from JCPenney. I definitely didn't need all of these shirts, but like I said, they were on sale. I couldn't help it, and they're cool shirts. They're such cool shirts. You know, as much as I have too many shirts, I realized that, you know, in the boxes, in the shirts that I get in the boxes, sometimes I don't like the shirt. So you guys might think that I have too many shirts, and I do. That's a true story. I do have too many shirts, but there's a lot of shirts that I do put in my giveaway box and that I and will eventually be selling on my website. I want to count these shirts. So this is a total of 11 shirts and I was looking at my receipt and I do think that they accidentally gave me a shirt that they didn't mean to give me. But out of those, what did I just say, 11 shirts, I got charged $83. That's uh, pretty good. That means that each shirt was about $7.50. So 55 cents, we'll say. That's pretty phenomenal. So just wanted to point out that when these stores have those sales, especially uh, the big stores like JCPenney's or Macy's, a lot of times they also will give you an additional coupon, like 20% off, 25% off. I don't know what the coupon she gave me was. $13 off. So I basically got an extra free shirt from the coupon that she scanned. Okay, after I went to JCPenney, I went to Box Lunch. So Box Lunch is a store that's owned by Hot Topic. It's like a fancy version of Hot Topic. It's a lot more expensive, but it has nicer things. Um, they also do some kind of donation thing. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's that they feed the hungry, but they do something for every like certain amount of money that they get in. They donate money, so that is one cool thing. I do my best to try not to buy too many things because the thing that I bought from here, I'm going to do a disclaimer. This shirt was way too expensive. I should not have purchased it. I should have waited until there was some sort of sale, but I didn't because it was a first time I've ever seen a rocket power shirt ever and I got too excited so I had to buy it so you guys probably saw this on my Instagram but this is the shirt that I got I love the color I love the feel I love the design you would only know that this is a rocket power shirt if you knew rocket power so it says shore shack on it and it says no shoebies weedy, 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 weedy. every time I do that to somebody they always look at me like what and I'm like what do you mean what do you not know rocket power I loved rocket power I still love Rocket Power. It was one of my favorite Nicktoons. It wasn't as mainstream as like Hey Arnold and Rugrats and whatnot, but I just thought it was such a cool show about kids who like to 
play different sports and do different activities and I just was really into it. So this shirt, I don't want to tell you how much this cost. It was so expensive. I paid full price for the shirt. Look at this stupid price tag. Do I regret it? No. Mm, I won't regret it in a little bit. I regret I regret it every time I look at that price and then I go, no, that's a really cool shirt. But in general, I shouldn't have paid that much. I should have waited. They usually have sales. Box Lunch doesn't have as many sales as Hot Topic does, but they did say that a lot of times their shirts will go on sale. Buy one, get one 30% off. They also have the option of earning, I forgot what they're called, like box lunch tickets or something that are like hot cash. So when you spend so much, you get it, and then you can get basically things 50% off. If you spend 30, you get $15 off. So I should have kind of waited it out a little bit, but I just got too excited. But there's so many other shirts from that store that I want to get. They had Rugrat shirts. They had a, um, a Reptar shirt. So there's no shortage of stuff that I want to get from there. It's just I got to wait till they're on sale. All right, the next shop that I went to is FYE. FYE is a newer store in the mall. There's not too many FYE stores around. Like, that's like the only one close by. And you can go on their website and buy stuff on their website, but they have an extraordinary amount of pops and just everything. They have like everything there. I spent a really long time in that store just looking around. I was just browsing. But let me show you what I got from this store. They were having a sale on socks. It was buy one, get one free. So I got two pairs or two sets of socks. This first set of socks is Super Mario Brothers. Each of these socks are priced at $14.99. So $15 for the two, which means that it was about $7.50 for each bundle. And each bundle comes with five. So like this set of socks comes with Luigi and Toad and Bowser and Yoshi and then Mario. Oh. That was pretty good, huh? And then the second set of socks, which is the first time I've ever seen um, Rugrat-specific socks. I think that Nickelodeon started to come out with a lot more Nickelodeon things, which is awesome. So we have some Chucky socks. We have, I don't know if this is Phil or Lil. Let's see. I think this is Phil. Oh, what the heck? They don't show Lil any love? What the heck, guys? We have Angelica. We have some generic Rugrat socks. This is actually the design that was on the shirt that they had. And then we have Tommy. I love the full design socks where it's like you put them on and it feels like you have them on your, on your foot. Okay, so those are the socks. And then I got a bunch of mystery packs. So, again, if you saw my video, you saw that I bumped into these bad boys. Now, I bought a whole set of these, a whole slew of these at Target a long time ago, and I have not been able to find them in stock since, and I found them. So I ended up getting six of these. Now, these are very expensive. They were $6 each, but... Lucky for me, when I checked out, I found out that they were on sale. So basically, it was buy one, get one 50% off on any of the mini figures. So, one of these was $6, and then this one would end up being $3. So for $9, you'd get two, which would make it $4.50 each. So that's not bad. $4.50 each isn't too bad. I still think these are a little bit overpriced, but $4.50 makes it a lot better than $6. So I'm going to do a short video uh, after this video of me opening these because the one that I'm really trying to get, and I'm not going to lie, first of all, I think this one might be the Polaroid because I hear the keychain, but I've been trying to get the Polaroid camera and the Etch-a-Sketch and the Chatter phone. I definitely went through and picked out the heaviest ones, which probably wasn't the best route to go, but I was so overwhelmed that that was just kind of what my mind told me to do. So I picked out sort of the heavier ones, although they don't feel as heavy now. So I'll do an unboxing video for those. And then the other thing I got, which I didn't realize how cool these were until after I bought them. So I saw these, and you guys know that there's this, uh, it's the mix and match kawaii cubes. So kawaii cubes is this new, like, line that's out. They have little plushies and whatnot. So I found these mystery packs for Power Rangers, but guess what I found out after I purchased these? These are nesters. These are little nesting Power Ranger cubes. They're made out of plastic, but how, you guys know I love nesting dolls. I love nesting dolls. So I was, after I purchased these, I almost went back and bought more because I was like, this is awesome. So there's this many that you can collect in the series. And basically, they just give you a bunch of different pieces that you can mix and match. So the whole goal is to collect 
I mean, if you wanted to try to collect this entire series, the whole goal would be to collect all of these characters in every single size. So there's three different sizes. There's the large, the medium, and the small. So I'm excited to open these. I'm again going to do a short video. I bought four of these. These were $6 each as well, but then they were on sale by one going 50% off. So same thing as the other thing. They ended up being about $4.50 each. So I will do a short video after this video of me opening and messing with those because I'm very excited about them. And then on to the last trip, we went to Hot Topic. Again, the main store that I was trying to go to to use my hot cash. Um, I ended up having... 180 uh, so what was that I had a, a total of $90 worth of hot cash which was six hot caches I ended up only using five hot caches and then I gave my extra hot cash to an, um, a little boy and his dad he wasn't little he was like a teenager he wasn't a teenager he was like a fifth grader probably um, but him and his dad were shopping around the store was about to close it was the last day so I said here here's some hot cash if you're interested in getting something so let me show you. I'm not gonna lie, the only thing that we went to Hot Topic for really was this. This is a pop socket, and this is actually for Dana. Dana wanted a pop socket, so I said, Oh, I have hot cash. Let's go to Hot Topic so we can get it a little bit cheaper. So she got this hot pop socket, which I forgot to give to her. Um, these are about $10 each over there. They're a little bit cheaper, like $9.90. Now let me just show you all the randomness that I got. I literally had no need to buy any of the stuff. I just bought it because I had hot cash and I felt like that I should get the 50% off. Just to note, I did look at all of their pops because originally I wanted to go there just to get Funko Pops, but they didn't have any good selection of Funko Pops. I was really disappointed in the Funko Pop selection. So instead, I got all of this stuff. So let's do it. The first, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> We got another set of Nickelodeon socks. These are um, a mixture of different Nicktoons. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't a huge fan of the pastel colors of them, but they're Nickelodeon socks, so I couldn't help myself. So we have Angelica, we have Ren, right there. We have Chucky. I haven't even looked at these. We have Cat Dog. And then we have Rocco's Modern Life. What a weird assortment of characters on socks, I must say. And then the other pair of socks that we got, which I don't know if I'm going to like the actual feel of these, but I thought they were really cute. We got some Minion socks. There are different Minions on here, which is kind of cool. Different faces. Oh, right there. Um, the reason I thought these were really cool is if you look at here, Look at the little feet. They have little feet that pop up when you put your foot in. How cute is that? That's really going to make it look like you have a minion on your foot. So I like those. Next, I got... I don't even need any more glasses, but it's a freaking Game Boy glass, and it changed colors. It's a color-changing Game Boy glass. It's not too color-changing. Basically, all that happens is the screen shows up as what is it super mario land which i did actually have on game boy which is cool so when you put something cold in here it's going to show super mario land on the screen this thing was ten dollars now remember all the price all the prices i'm giving you the socks were 14.90 i ended up getting about half off i did pretty good at getting really close to a hundred and I ended up spending a hundred and forty and for hot cash I I went a little bit over I should have only spent about a hundred and twenty or hundred and fifty so I got a little bit over the 120 mark that I was trying to stick with um so yeah but everything ended up being about half off almost the next thing I got was this <laughs> it's like a wine glass I don't think it's meant to be a wine glass but this is also a color changing mug it's supposed to be when it's warm, it's supposed to be black and white. It's a little bit cold right now, so it's like halfway. But when you put something cold in it, it will change into the bright Hogwarts crest logo. I thought that this is like a little bit, a little like goblet, but I thought I could use it as like a wine glass, basically. So there's a Harry Potter wine glass. $14.90 was that, that was priced at. I definitely didn't need these, but I saw these online and I wanted to get them. Um, they These were actually already on sale. What I got were fidget spinners, and these are 90s fidget spinners. They're Nickelodeon fidget spinners, and they're from Buckle Down. They're priced at $14.90 each, which is very expensive, but they were buy one, get one. Uh, what was it? Buy one, get one free. And then I also got the hot cash on top of that. So these ended up being, so 15 for two minus another $4 each. So 15 minus eight. So $7 for the two. So these end up being about $3.50 each. So that's actually a really good deal with a main price of $15. And if you look closely, it's kind of hard to see. They have like little designs on them from all of the Nicktoons. So they can kind of see 
I don't know if the other side, well, it's not much surface area, but you can see Cynthia doll. You can see, um, I see Tommy and Rocco and Angelica. And that actually wasn't the Cynthia doll. That's the older sister, I think, from Wild Thornberries. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Very cool. And then the last items that I got, I just got these to push myself over the 130 because I wasn't close to the 130 at one point. So I thought these would be a cool little unboxing video, but they have these new, you guys know I've purchased these before, not Guardians of the Galaxy, but Marvel. They're the plush clip-ons. I This is the one I got from Five Below. Um, so these are Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I just thought that these designs were so cute. I saw the different Groots that they had. Rocket's cool too, but I just like the different Groots that they had. I was like, oh, those Groots are so cute. And it's basically, there's four different types of Groots and two different types of Rockets, which means that I'm bound to get something that I'm really going to like in these mystery boxes. So I ended up getting, I don't know why, I bought five of them. Not sure why I did that. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. So those ended up being, let's see, from nine eight ninety regular price, I got $4.28 off. So those ended up being about a little bit over like $4 each, which isn't too bad. So I'll do an unboxing video for those as well later on. So again, I basically got, uh, they don't list it out very well. I saved $74.90 basically. With my hot cash and the whatever sales they had going on, I saved that and I paid 60, well with tax I paid $70, but my, before tax, before sales tax, I paid $65 for all this stuff. So that's actually not bad for all the stuff that I got. I'm pretty happy about it and yeah, I'm excited. So this video was way longer than I thought it was gonna be, which sucks, but this was my uh, mall haul. I went to JCPenney, Box Lunch, FYE, and Hot Topic. So I hope that you enjoyed this mall haul. I know you usually guys do. I, I'm surprised I didn't get any Funko Pops. I was gonna get some Funko Pops from FYE. I'll probably go back because they, they usually have sales on their Funko Pops, but they had some Nickelodeon Pops that I'm interested in getting. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this haul. What things did you like? What things did you not like? And if you had any hot cash or anything, like, what did you get with it? Let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it on about they get a subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. And before I go, it is time to do the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to Jade Wardle. Jade Wardle, I don't know if I'm saying your last name right. You get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.